You're watching the Movie Channel. Our next feature, The Lords of Discipline, stars David Keith as a raw recruit struggling against the secret society within a harsh military academy and coming of age and forging his own personal code of honor. Stargaze all through the month. It's the Movie Channel's Academy Awards Countdown, a glittering package no movie buff should miss. It all begins with the Movie Channel's Academy Awards Countdown quiz. Trivia questions between the movies so you can sharpen your Oscar IQ. On April 8th, don't miss our 24-hour marathon of Academy Award-winning movies with legendary performances people are still talking about. Our celebration continues every Tuesday night in April with a festival of Oscar-winning foreign films that capture the world's attention. Then, grab a front row seat April 8th at 7.30 for the Movie Channel's special Academy Awards preview show. Size up the nominees in Tour Tinseltown with our host, veteran Hollywood reporter Robert Osborne. Get in on the stories, the scoops, the final preparations. Watch scenes from the nominated movies and others that missed by a hair. And of course, exclusive interviews with some of this year's nominees. We're your link to all all the excitement. So be here for the Movie Channel's exclusive Academy Awards countdown, now through April. When two people get together who don't seem to belong together, you've got an odd couple. Every Wednesday night this month, the Movie Channel salutes the best of the odd couples. When two partners raise eyebrows at the station house... I think you could have waited a little while before you threw our first orgy. When a couple of familiar buffoons become a couple of heroes. When a man and woman are both <laughs> men. Oh, don't feel bad. There are lots of men who think it's a drag to dress like a woman. And when a con and cop are partners. We ain't brothers, we ain't partners, and we ain't friends. Now, if Dan gets away with my money, you're going to be sorry you ever met me. I'm already sorry. Then you're looking at the best of the odd couples. Wednesday, the 28th at 10, 9 Central, La Cajal Fall 2, the sequel to the original hit. In 1975, a team of Canadian scientists investigating the biological implications of single living conducted experiments with laboratory rats. They were dressed in tight-fitting double-knit polyester suits and forced to listen to disco music at high volume. The other rats, each coupled with a mate of the opposite sex, were kept in laboratory conditions simulating marriage. Is single living a viable alternative in a couple society? What are you doing here? Just a checkup. At a gynecologist's office. It's a, a second opinion. Do you have a fire escape? What are you doing here? My mother lives in this building. She really does. I'm not lying. Wait a minute. Hurry up. Hurry up. Just a second. Hurry up. Hold up. Uh, so, this is your apartment? No. This is my car. I keep my apartment in a safe deposit box downtown. <laughs> <laughs> Ellen, I can't go to bed with you. Why? Because you're short and you're weird. Who told you? <laughs> When you're looking for love, when you find yourself doing some very love. funny things. When you're by yourself, I ask someone else. You know those weird cult movies you crave just before bedtime? The Movie Channel's new Friday Movie Madness has them all. Never a moment's rest. Each week you'll see movies that are out of this world. I don't know if I'm a boy or a girl. Out of control and out to get you. I want to eat your face. Gather the guys for Friday Movie Madness. Friday the 30th at midnight, 11 Central, The Secret Policeman's Other Ball. and I'm going to be on the movie channel. Want to know why the movie channel's new drive-in theater is suddenly so hot? Because you never know where it's heading. Each Friday takes you through the realm of the tacky to the flashy and the trashy. My God, will it ever end? That's why so many people find the movie channel's drive-in theater so irresistible. I'm one of them! So if the end for a drive-in sometimes seizes you... Get control of yourself. Or stand up and be counted. Friday the 30th at 10, 9 Central, Warlords of the 21st Century.
I've always, I've always loved those old movies. I think everyone does. And, and people always come up to you and they say, why don't they make movies like they used to in the 30s and 40s? And here was our chance. Jane Seymour was able to turn some of her dreams to reality recently when she co-starred with Tom Selleck in her newest film, Lassiter. She plays Selleck's girlfriend, a strong-willed dancer. Get her out of here. I'm not going to sit here with her. Don't push me, Sarah. I don't have room. Fast, Lassiter. Don't touch me! your teeth. Just sit. I need her. I won't. I said I'd help you, but I won't help you into her bed. Don't do this to me. You promise me. Now make a choice. You make it. I've got no time left. It has to be tonight. Jane Seymour came to acting almost by chance, yet she has proved herself to be exceptionally versatile. <laughs> She talked to the Movie Channel recently in this exclusive interview. Whenever there's a project where I'm supposed to age from 16 to 50, they tend to pass it to me. They, they think I've got aging down, so <laughs> I get aging. They also tend to give me parts where the character has maybe a split personality, or in the last thing I did, I've actually played identical twins. She originally trained as a dancer, appearing with the Kirov Ballet and the London Festival Ballet. But a break into films came early. How old was I? About 17. I was 17 years old. I was still a student at the ballet school I was at. And um, I auditioned for the film, Oh, a Lovely War, as a dancer and singer. And I happened to be in the very first day of shooting, which was a scene with Maggie Smith and a whole load of chorus girls. And uh, I was always out of step. I was, I was the worst of the lot, and the youngest by at least 15 years. And I had one line, which I said extraordinarily badly. I don't know why they gave it to me. And it went like this. It was, he should be digging trenches. <laughs> From that one line about digging trenches, Jane Seymour moved on to break the hearts of movie heartthrobs. She first caught the public eye alongside Simon Ward in Young Winston, then faced mortal danger with Roger Moore in Live and Let Die co-starred with Christopher Reeve in Somewhere in Time and a multitude of other leading men in a career that has taken her around the world, a career in which she's prepared to take risks. If you trust the people you're working with and if you communicate with them and then you show them what you can do and at the same time you respond to what they're asking for, that hopefully you pray for it every time. There's somebody there who knows how to use the scissors and can um, use what is best for the whole movie. Although movie roles haven't been slow in coming, Jane finds much to attract her in television. There are an awful lot of women who, who have families and, you know, who have jobs, who come home in the evening, and they want to see good, you know, some good drama, and they like to see drama about themselves. So there are a lot better roles for women currently on television than there are in, uh, in the big movies. And it's in television that Jane has been able to expand her repertoire. She appeared in East of Eden, Phantom of the Opera, played a dual role in Frankenstein, The True Story, and won an Emmy Award for her performance in Captains and Kings. And Most uh, recently came another dual role in The Dark Mirror. It was a really extraordinarily difficult thing to do, to act opposite yourself, because you can never rehearse it. It's, it's very strange, and then you have to get someone else to do the other side, and you have to exactly copy what they're doing, and it's, uh, it, it was the hardest acting challenge I've ever had. And Her taste for risk-taking paid off when she played to critical acclaim Constanza Weber in Amadeus on Broadway. That feeling when you're doing live theater of having the response, the immediate response from the audience is an extraordinarily powerful feeling. Um, even if they're not laughing or crying, you can feel whether you have their attention. And it's, um, it's magic actually. It's, uh, it reminds me of when I was a dancer, of being able to hold a, hold a pose, hold an arabesque, and just to know that time stops still for a few moments, and that the, hopefully the conductor is watching you too, and he's going to just sneak in that extra second just to make sure that everyone knows that you're uh, defying gravity. She had begun in dance, and now with her newest film, Lassiter, a romantic thriller set in pre-war London, she puts on her tap shoes again for the first time in 17 years. So her career has, in one respect, come full circle. May I, Commander? Oh, I'm sorry. Cutting in, as you'd call it, is an American habit, old boy. The is not done over here.
Shall we try again? I really don't think so. Would you kindly say whatever it is you want to say and leave? Let's go home. What? Oh, she didn't tell you. This lady happens to be my wife. Oh, for God's sake. Look, if you don't leave immediately, I shall have you removed. Well, it's all right. I understand she has a weakness for uniforms. Her father was an admiral. Oh, sir, your humor is as tasteless as your manners. You come this way. Please, why don't we at least be civilized about this? Let me take a few moments. Please. As you wish. to being 80 and whatever I've, I've enjoyed all the ages I've ever been so far and uh, I think I mean I find my life richer and fuller and better now than it was in my 20s so I have no particular desire to be 20 again Jane Seymour an exclusive interview on the movie channel He gave the world a new kind of American detective story. Do you draw your material from life? Real life, Fawn. He was a master of action. Now there's a third body in the morgue you might be interested in. And suspense. He created the Maltese Falcon, Sam Spade, and the Thin Man. Who the hell are you now? Hammett the writer or Hammett the detective? But he didn't write this mystery. <laughs> he lived it. Frederick Forrest, Peter Boyle, and Mary Lou Henner. Hammett. We ain't partners. We ain't brothers and we ain't friends. I'm putting you down and keeping you down until Gans is locked up or dead. And if Gans gets away, you're going to be sorry you ever met me. I'm already sorry. Nick Nolte is a cop. Eddie Murphy is a con. I can help you get Gans, but you gotta get me out of here first. You're crazy. He pulls some strings. See, you need me a little more than you thought, huh, Mr. K? He pulls some scams. So where do you want to do it, honey? Want to hop up on the counter? No, we can go in this room over here next to the bathroom. Give me a break. I'm that serious. Oh, we're in the mood. Let's go. They've got two killers to track down. Toss me that piece, and he won't waste him. They've got a kidnapping going down. I want the money. I don't know what you're talking about. It's not that Indian to snap her neck. They've got a fortune to hunt down. I want to know what's going on between you and Gans. Half a million dollars. And it's all coming down. 48 hours. But I gave you 48 hours to come up with something and the clock's running. This guy got a real itchy trigger finger and he's a nervous cop. You better listen to him. You get your brain blown out. I'm the calm type. <laughs> for a good old boy by the name of Billy Bear. Never heard of him. Heard of him now, man? What's happening, Luther? I'm sorry about the door, man. Did that hurt? It looked real painful. You come clean and we're going again right here, right now. some hurry or something yes i'm in a hurry i haven't done anything for three years oh you used to be a priest or something save my night they couldn't like each other less they couldn't need each other more you want to bet and if they can get off each other's case look at you you got a 500 hundred dollar suit on you're still a low life yeah but i look good they just might solve this one being a cop is a hard job jack nick nolte Eddie Murphy. We ain't brothers, we ain't partners, and we ain't friends. And if Gans gets away with my money, you're gonna be sorry you ever met me. I'm already sorry. 48 hours. The Movie Channel's Rock Stars to Movie Stars Festival continues when John Lennon lends his wits to a group of nits. Nice place you got here. It's a hysterically funny tale of one man's somewhat distorted military career. How I Won the War, next on the Rock Stars to Movie Stars Festival. The Movie Channel presents the latest adventures of the Man of Steel, Superman 3. Help me! Three times the action. Somebody help me! 
comes the thrill. Clark, may I tell you something? Three times the romance. My oil pan is leaking. Yes, it's Christopher Reeve as the incredible Superman and America's super comedian Richard Pryor. Yeah. You see what we seek. As his latest super nemesis. Hello. Now, getting down to business. Will the Man of Steel triumph? Will America be saved? Find out in Superman 3 on the movie channel. It's the Movie Channel's Academy Awards Countdown Quiz. Test your knowledge of the movies. What actress won an Academy Award for her work in From Here to Eternity and then went on to a long TV career? Donna Reed won Best Supporting Actress for her role as a dance hall girl. Join the celebration. You can see From Here to Eternity, the best picture of 1953, during our Academy Awards Marathon, beginning Sunday, April 8th. is the Movie Channel's feature presentation. This picture has been rated R by the Motion Picture Association of America.